Feeling hungry for a good horror movie? Netflix has you covered, but you probably don't want to be eating dinner while you watch it. The Netflix recommendation algorithm is a boundless and ineffable mystery. On any given day, it seems to reach randomly into the Netflix catalog and haul out a film many had kind of forgotten existed or even never knew about. One might recall the time in April of 2023 when the not particularly beloved 2011 prequel come remake of The Thing topped Netflix's popularity charts. More people saw it that month than perhaps watched it in theaters. The latest popular surprise from Netflix comes in the form of Bartosz M. Kowalski's Hellhole, a 2020 Polish horror movie that was released in the streaming service in October of 2022, but is only now coming to prominence. Don't feel bad if you hadn't heard of Hellhole prior to this. Few horror fans have. Hellhole is an exorcism thriller set in a Polish sanitarium, specifically built for women who are apparently possessed by demons. It's 1987, and a mysterious monk named Marek has come to visit the sanitarium to see an exorcist skill. Marek is allowed to witness some of the exorcisms, but something is fishy. Marek, you see, is actually a secret investigator who has been sent to audit the monastery. Sadly for Marek, that's not where the conspiracy ends. Marek finds a curious spying apparatus hidden in his room. He vomits a bunch, and there are flies in the vomit. But things only get weirder from there. Marek is knocked out by a monk, tied to a bed, and force-fed ample portions of gross-looking meat. What is this all about? It might have something to do with the mysterious marking on Marek's chest, and the fact that crosses seem to supernaturally turn upside down when in his presence. Marek the priest seemed to believe is demonic. This is not a bad thing for these particular clergymen, however, as they are actually satanic priests who aim to manifest Satan on the earthly plane. Their church sits atop a portal to hell, and their goal is to summon the devil through it, shunt his consciousness into a human vessel, and bring about an apocalypse. Because humans are so rotten, they figure, the end of the world is much deserved. Too bad for Marek that he has to eat all that disgusting meat. Let's just hope you're hungry. It might be the meat-eating scenes that have some viewers reaching for the Dramamine. One Twitter user offered some helpful advice, saying, Tip for the new Netflix horror movie Hellhole. Don't eat anything while watching. According to several reviews, Hellhole is a drab, muddy, gruesome movie meant to make viewers squirm in discomfort and despair in its glorious nihilism. Horror critic Zena Dixon took to Twitter to say, It's been over two weeks since I've watched Hellhole on Netflix and it's stuck in my brain. One Twitter user wrote, Hellhole was perfection in that it achieved exactly what it set out to do, a brutal and nauseating horror film that really flips the tables on the viewer. The music in this film is astounding too. It enhances the mood of an already intense experience. Del James, who some rock nerds may know as the road manager for Guns N' Roses and the author of the November Rain short story that inspired the song, was also effusive on Twitter, saying, Unholy f the highly satanic Polish horror film Hellhole is one of the best horror offerings in recent memory. I can't praise this wonderfully diabolical film high enough. Hellhole is streaming on Netflix if you're up for it. In English, the word hellhole typically refers to a dilapidated house or another structure lacking in tidiness or order. In the movie Hellhole, the hole is quite literal. The original Polish title translates to The Last Supper, which given the amount of eating that goes on in the film, might have been a better title. Regardless, the film is currently playing on Netflix. If there are enough brave souls, perhaps it will continue to be recommended. It may eventually be considered one of the more notable satanic thrillers of its day.